Light Game Reviewer here and welcome to my channel. Couple of things before I start this video. Um, number one, the audio should be clearer and it should be cleaner. I did some tests, I finally took some time to, uh, oh, hold on here. I finally took some time to clean everything up and learn how to do it. So just let me know in the comments section on how you find this. And number two, I tried a couple of moments, Star Citizen, and this is really important. All the games from Derek Smart, oops, not this one. I was looking in the uh, line of defense forums. Um, I looked at all of Derek Smart's, I would say, games, Universal Combat, line of defense. Uh, pff, there's supposed to be another one here. Well, there's uh, 3000 AD or Battle Cruiser 3000 AD, which is not here. I think it's offered freely on the internet somewhere. And uh, I never played any of it. So, let's start with the news. Derek Smart threatens legal action against Cloud Imperium games over Star Citizen. And why the hell do I care? <laughs> that was yesterday that I, uh, that I learned about it. And it really pissed me off. Not because of him, because I couldn't care less of him. I couldn't... I'm, I don't really care about Derek Smart. I don't care about Chris Roberts. I don't care about, I would say, anything in that. Star Citizen or Battle Cruiser 3000 AD, but I do care when someone goes on a I don't know some kind of like a like he's on a vengeance quest. That's what I get from this uh, from this news. And I did see a couple of his blogs, and I think he has a vendetta against Chris Roberts. I think I know why he's doing that, like the legal action and why he hates him so much he seems to hate him that's the message i get i'm gonna get i'm gonna get to that why he does that and why he wants to go uh well just do illegal action and all of that bad shit but first let's learn who the hell is Derek smart like who is the guy he's the president and lead developer of 3000 ad like he's been like over 30 years in in game development so he knows how to game he's supposed to know how would you um, make a game? Uh, for example, uh, 16 games to date, like Line of Defense, like I said. The older one is Battle Cruiser 3000 AD. And if I get it right, just like what he does, uh, for example, um, Smart was reported to be seeking the license of Free Space IP. Good game, do not touch it. I will fucking kill you. It's a joke, but yeah, you're probably going to get a lot of hate if you touch it. Um, what he does, well, what he did was some kind of, I don't know, space sim, whatever, game. And, like, in his game, for example, I think, I'm just going to look for the word here. Yeah, his game in uh, 3000 AD... Uh, Battle Cruiser 3000 AD, like it says here, there's a 97-page tutorial. I don't know, but for, like, if I was the guy who made this, I would look at the 97-page, like, personally, there's no fucking way I'm gonna, I, I, like, I'm gonna read that. No fucking way. Way too long, this is not a tutorial, this is just a book, but it's not a book, because there's more. The game is fucking complicated. Everywhere I look... I look at every critic website, at every news website, at, at Metacritic, for example, for 3000 AD. The game sucks. All his games, they all suck. Don't take it from me. Take it from the users who, who tried to play the game. Line of Defense, 20% uh, out of 111 user reviews that are positive. That is freaking bad. Holy shit. It's like that with every game he does. It's not one game that's good. Well, there is one, but I think it's a DLC if, uh, if I'm correct. I may be wrong, but that's the best game he has. Three reviews, though, so it's not really a lot. In other words, in his 30 years of career, which is, to me, it means nothing, or almost nothing, it's a complete waste of time. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know. He should not be a game developer, if you ask me, because there's a couple of things in the article. There's an article here. All of the links that I have, like this uh, PC Gamer link and the uh, Reaxion link, it's all going to be in the uh, description. In this long article on Reaxion, which I... Just go go ahead and read it. I'm going to make a TLDR version as a, a too long didn't read. This is a summary of this long article. What he does here, what he says here, it's going to be a disaster. And he doesn't believe in Star Citizen. Because he tried it years ago and it never worked. Because it never worked for him, it's not going to work for everyone. I'm not kidding here. This is the summary of the whole freaking article. But, based on the, well, everything that I see here, all his games that he done, I'm sorry, but he's not a good game designer. He's not, he's not a good game developer. From what I see, I did not play the game, and I'm not even interested to play the game. So what I say is to be taken with a grain of salt, but take it from all the people that leaves comments. They all say that Derek Smart sucks. And then there's the legal action. Uh, I think he tried to get the... Uh, like, first of all, he bagged the game up for $250. Sorry, I just had to do something really quick here. And he gave like $250 for the game. First of all, he does have a point, even though I don't think he says it like directly, but with Kickstarter, you're not an investor. You have no power whatsoever, which means you give the money and that's it. You're done. If you can get a refund, well, good luck because you're lucky. This is one thing that I'd love for Kickstarter is that if you give money, I would love the way to get it back. Refund, like as a... Refund. Boom. That's it. You're done. No questions asked. Very easy to do. No matter where in time. Even 20 years after the game is done. I want my money back. I would love to get that kind of power. Well, okay. Maybe not 20 years. But you get the point. Uh, but you don't. And like it says here. Um, it was obvious he was not a supporter of our project and was using our visibility as a platform to gain attention and promote his current game and his past games. This is what a CIG rep said at the time. This is very true because if you really hate the game, number one, no one's forcing you, no one's twisting your arm. It is your responsibility to look at the information to see if it's done if it's doable and you as a game designer as a game developer you should have know from the start if it was like and he did say it and he does say it from time to time it's not possible to do it why the fuck did you support it did you see something like me because i did support it like what 25 35 dollars or so I'm not going to ask a refund. I have, I'll be honest, I think the game is possible to do. But holy shit, it's going to take some time. I think it's going to take the double or three times the amount of time to make the game. That's what I think. Like, for example, this, like the single player version, the Squadron 42. I think we're going to see that in 2017. Probably in 2018. Not next year. No fucking way. Not possible. I do not believe that. It's, it's possible, but I do not believe that. So, even if I don't believe it, does that mean that you can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on to talk about the game that it says, well, it's not possible and there's, I don't know, there's some kind of alien conspiracy going on or some whatever fucking shit you believe dude they offered you the no they refunded it to you and not at his request of course like it says there take the money and get the fuck out that's it it's just a kickstarter project that's all oh yeah it's 88 million dollars kickstarter project it's a kind of game that you tried to do in the past but never succeeded 
And when you read the article, it really goes through uh, what he went through in Battlecruiser uh, 3000 AD. In other words, he made bad decisions over bad decisions, and I don't know. It likes he wasn't, I'm not going to play with his name, but it, it looks like he wasn't smart enough. And no, I'm not playing with his name. I'm not going to call him names or whatever. That is beyond childish, and it's that's not the point. Uh, he is childish, but not in this way. So, I don't even know why he, he wants to do, like, legal action against this guy. Well, against the project. And jeopardize the whole project together, because, let's face it, illegal action takes a lot of fucking money to do. It doesn't... It's not free. Why do you want to jeopardize a project? Because you don't believe in the game. Take the 250, get the fuck away. Your blog is there, news outlets and, you, well, news websites talked about you. Isn't that enough? We know you don't like the game and people that are not interested are saying, well, hmm, he may have a point. Let's, let's look at what he has to say. Isn't that enough? <laughs> no, you want to do that and fuck over an entire project. Wow, this is what pisses me off. $30, that's what I spent on the game for now if it works I don't know maybe I'm, I'm gonna spend more I don't know but I don't think I will uh, not that it's possible but I, I, I never do that I just play the game I, I pay the game for what it's worth and that's it as long as I get the single player hey I, I, I'm done you know it's it's cool for me and you know what I think about all of this uh, Here's the thing, Derek Smart tried to do a game what Chris Roberts is doing right now. It's, from the way I look at it with Star Citizen, I think it's going to take a lot of time, because usually when you do, like, a game like this, near the end or so, like, it can be up to his decision or up to his opinion or whatever, uh, you do this near the end, you start to say, hey, I have a game here, it's almost done, and blah, 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 and like a couple of years later, boom, like one year or two, there it is, it's done, it's complete. In this case, nothing's done. There's just this prototype idea, like a draw board with stick figure signs, and that's it, there's nothing else. <laughs> the guy... Chris Roberts, for fuck's sake, I'm in Canada, in Quebec, I'm really, I'm pretty sure that no one heard of this place, well, the one who views my videos, and the thing is, I saw from, well, uh, Robert Space Industries, Star Citizen, whatever, I saw uh, employee jobs, employee positions in this company, or some company out there. If I had the knowledge, I could have I could have applied and worked right there myself. I saw this in my local newspaper. For fuck's sake, this is awesome. This is great. Oh, I think it's great. Uh, man, this is really weird because I don't get it. I, I really don't. And whatever I would say, um, Derek Smart tried. It didn't work. He wasn't smart enough to do it. No. Well, yes, but he he wasn't also creative enough to find ways around it. He was never able to do that. Looks like Chris Roberts is doing it right now, and from the way I look at it, it's working. It's very slow, but it's working. Now, here's the thing. If he wants, like, all the information from that, I would say that company from Star Citizen, from the whole project, I think he wants to know how he did it and why is it working with him and not with Derek Smart. He wants the details. He wants to know where he spent the money and how. He's giving you bullshit as in, well, you're entitled to know, to, to know this and you're entitled to the accountability. Yes, of course. But in your case, it's because you were a failure all your freaking life. And because of that, you want to know how he did it. Because it seems to succeed with him. I may be crazy here, but that's what I think about all of this shit from Derek Smart. And 
I'm gonna go to his blog. That that's his latest blog that he done. And at the end, in the in the uh, epilogue, man, this is long. <laughs> man. Yeah, it's a really freaking long one. Uh, here's what he says, and this is funny. In closing, those making noise about me being uh, a jealous competitor, yes, you are jealous because he seems to succeed and you didn't succeed in anything from the things I see here, of course. But there's a funny thing. Being a jealous competitor. <laughs> no, wait a minute. As far as I know, a competitor is someone who can compete with uh, an opponent, an enemy, that you can actually compete with. Do you seriously believe you can compete against uh, like Chris Roberts? Against Star Citizen? You're saying that his game is better than his, like technologically. Uh, I'll take your word on it, like it says here, uh, yeah. Aside from the graphics fidelity, it's far more advanced scope, technology, features, blah, 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 than Star Citizen. Well, which is even as advanced as Universal Combat in scope and technology, for that matter, and blah, 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 but, and like he says, it's a distraction that simply won't work. I'll take your word on it. It may be far more better in technology, but from the way I look at Star Citizen, it takes a lot of time, and the more they put in, the more the things break, and the more they have to fix. It's just a matter of time. It's not only I like the CryEngine they're trying to work here. They're trying to work with multiple types of engine from the way I look at Star Citizen. It's a mix of everything, so of course it's not going to work perfectly. Uh, I think it's going to be doable, but it's going to take a lot of time, like I said. But, yeah, the guy is jealous, and he's not a competitor, and, yeah, it can make him crack up, but I really think that when, when he looks at his career, it's not been bright. It's, it's dark. It's really dark, because I don't see any success here. And don't you think that line of defense is a success? Maybe on a technological level, but, I mean... Come on, man. Look at this. Line of defense? <laughs> uh, yeah. How many is there? Let's see here. 111 reviews. Positive. Here's a thing. I'll give you a tip. Not from an expert, but someone who, I don't know, looks at this often. And I see this very often. Uh, if your game sucks like this, like mostly negative... Uh, yeah, 20% found this positive. I don't know, but maybe you should look and talk to your customers. Yeah. Bad gameplay, bad control, bad everything. You know what some developers did in some game? They said, well, they gave some type of review like this, and like it. This tells me nothing. I'll be honest, this review sucks. It really sucks. But, as a developer, it is your duty to get in, like, in touch with him and ask him, or, like, take this review, put it inside a discussion, like you can see right here, and talk to your customers. Give me details on why the game sucks. Bad control, bad this, bad that. How do I, how do I can improve it? Do that, and if you respond correctly... And if you put out your head out of your ass, and yeah, take that butt plug as well, you'll be fine. Your game will be better. Just a little tip here. It's like the 101 of how to make a successful game, you know. If it sucks, talk to your customers. You know, they do pay like, holy shit, that's a lot. Uh, they do pay, and it is an early access, so, you know, it's... Uh, it's kind of logic. That's what I think about the whole thing. And for Derek Smart, yeah, he's jealous. He wants to know why he succeeded, uh, why Chris Roberts succeeded, why he never succeeded in his career life, in his uh, professional life, because I don't believe he did from the way I look at it. So there it is, guys. That's my little rant on Derek Smart, Star Citizen, and Chris Roberts and the whole legal action suit. What do you think of all that? Just leave your comments down below. You might even tell me as a joke, well, it's about time you fix your audio issue. You're pretty late on that thing, you know? 
late game reviewer, late, late on it. Okay, whatever, bad joke. See you later.